the industry diligently and incessantly works towards supporting the country's economic growth with effort channelized towards providing customers with a cohesive experience while adding value to the trade with visionary leadership and sustained growth i believe this is not just india's decade it's india's century one thing what india needs to look at is to when we are conceptualizing new ports uh, it should be planned in such a way that of course rail and road network is important which now we are taking care of in vadwan port another thing is to have proximity to inland waterways let us go green let us have a sustainable and modular infrastructure creation and let us go for green and tech driven solution so india is the second largest provider of skilled seafarers to the norwegian fleet and uh, that adds a lot to the <clears throat> to the sort of people to people uh, you know collaboration uh, the india middle east europe uh economic corridor which i think uh, started all uh, last year i believe uh, the initiative and is really getting traction give city has been one of the strategic movements in that direction where now we have that ecosystem where we can set shop over there or take advantage of the uh, you know commercial advantages that it has the inland container terminals with the port and and one of them being also through the gati shaktis we are able to give customers reliable assured transit time with a competitive cost and when i see it from a customer perspective like a final the customer is the shipper or the consignee who is shipping the goods uh he uh, he needs a lower cost it has to be a suitable conducive ecosystem then only the investors will come then only the tonnage will increase then only the ship building will happen in india government has to put money on the table push the bank to finance regulations has to be eased off and they should become business friendly one of the important thing is provide the power to the frontliner and the frontliner is the crane operator we all sitting in nice offices actually cannot solve a problem as well as a crane operator can the dredging companies as such they are limited in india because uh, the all the dredges are very capital intensive and as such running them maintaining them without work is also very difficult